Welcome for the next part of the course electrical design in the drafting. So this is a part three where we are going to understand about electrical designing. So in the chapter eight of the course, we are going to understand the main calculations of electrical designing and drafting. So in the first topic of this chapter, we shall see the rules and regulations from the NEC and the NBC standards. Okay, how many number of points we have to select, what type of circuit breaker we have to select, and what size of cable we have to select. Okay, so before going for the calculations, referring your architects to the yard, we need to understand about the imperial system and the metric system because different different consultants are using different different formats. But in electrical systems, 90% of the calculations will be in metric systems. So if you are getting any architectural layout in terms of imperial system, so we should know how to convert from imperial to the metric system. Again, after conversion, we are going to work with lighting design. Remember that lighting calculation is a very vast calculation. So if you are covering this calculation initially, it will be very easy for the future calculations to be proceeded. So after completion of lighting design, we are going with raw power designing. In the raw power designing, we are going to connect or we are going to design all the heavy loads or the appliances which we are going to use in day to day life. Again, talking about air conditioning system. I repeat again, air conditioning is not a concept of electrical engineer, but if you're working with small projects or any kind of domestic projects, we are going to work with the we are going to work with the split AC as well as the window AC. Okay, after completion of all this designing, we are going to understand about the load balancing sheet or the DB schedule. Okay, this is very, very important concept because in the load balancing sheet, we are going to understand whether we need a three phase supply or a single phase supply, how many circuits we are going to frame, what type of main circuit breaker we have to use and how we have to balance the load and how we have to maintain a phase difference less than 300 watts or less than 5% of the total connected load. After completion of chapter eight, we are going with chapter nine. So in the chapter nine, we are going to understand about transformer. If you are from electrical background, then you'll be very clear with the topic of transformer and the parts of transformer, especially for the non-electrical people. Okay, we have to be very clear with the components and the parts of transformer. Transformer works on which principle? Okay, how we are going to troubleshoot the transformer if you have any kind of maintenance issue and how we are going to provide the connections to the transformer. So these are the few major topics which we are going to cover in the introduction to the transformer. After completing of the theoretical part, we are going with calculations. So here from this chapter, whenever we are going to start any designing, okay, or whenever we are going to work with any calculation area, the first thing we are going to understand about the part as well as the equipment. Okay, so the transformer sizing is very simple, but remember that parameter selections are very, very important. So with respect to some 10 steps of calculations we are going to design and we are going to justify the equipment, nothing but transformer. In next chapter, the chapter 10, we are going to understand about diesel generator. Okay, diesel is actually a fuel. Okay, with the help of this fuel, we are going to generate electricity. So first of all, we are going to understand the components and the parts of generator, in which case we are going to use a generator. Because when you're working with any project, the first thing is to distribute and to define the different, different types of loads. Like you can see, we have the total connected load. Out of total connected load, we are going to see, okay, how much amount of energy emergency loads we have. Again, based upon that, we are going to find out the demand factors and the diversity factors. So all those parameters we are going to understand initially. After completion of this theoretical part, we shall go with the calculation of generator. So in this topic, I am going to assume few loads with one of my previous projects. So once when you design, again, we are going to cross very five by means of justification process. After completion of this chapter, we shall go with chapter 11. In this chapter, we are going to understand about the UPS system, uninterruptible power supply. When you're working with commercial projects or when you're working with corporate offices or any hospitals, definitely we have to provide alternate source of supply. Okay, we have basically two sources of supply in every project. Like we have a transformer supply, we have a generator supply. But when you're working with sensitive devices, like something like medical equipments or any kind of IT sectors. So definitely we have to provide the UPS system also because the sensitive devices, okay, will not tolerate even if there is any kind of interruption, even for a fraction of a second. So 
as a design engineer, it will be our responsibility to calculate the size of UPS. So before going for the calculation, first we shall go with the introduction part where we are going to understand the parts of UPS system and the broad diagram of UPS system. After completion of theoretical part, we shall go with calculation of UPS and the calculation of battery sizing based upon the backup R. Because in the battery sizing, we have got the two areas, one is with respect to the maintenance battery and one is with respect to the dry battery. So as per the client interest, as well as the type of project, we are going to choose the type of battery. Okay. So these are the four chapters where we are going to understand the main thing of electrical designing and drafting. So with respect to this module, it is clear. I hope so. We shall go with next module. Thank you for watching my video.